Hello YouTube. It never ceases to amaze me how um, uh, people will all sort of get on the same page at the same time. Or not all, but some. And this is one of those situations. And it's kind of bugging me, so I just, I need to talk about it. And you are the folks I talk to about such things. Yesterday, Fall to Grace, and again, links in the sidebar, put out a video about the um, austerity, the riots in Greece concerning austerity measures that are being put in place. And I got to thinking about the fact that the powers that be are simply going to look at them as spoiled children. It's not going to make any difference any more than the riots in Argentina made a difference back when they were going through these types of things. And I thought, well, you know, what do the people do? They can't quit their job. Where are they going to go? It's the same no matter where you go, assuming you even have the money to go. And that made me think, you know, we're already in the FEMA camp. They already have us. We're already locked in. We are free enough for most Americans. Most Americans either don't know what's going on or don't feel it in their day-to-day -day lives, so they don't really care. Add to it that those of us that maybe do care don't really know how to change it. We write letters, they ignore us, do a protest, you're either ignored or looked at as for at as a spoiled child, but even if they did listen, frankly, what are they going to do about it at this point? I don't know what the answer is. Um, I was later watching a video by Barbarian Rebellion, great video. Um, this one is not about chemtrails, although he does a lot of good posts concerning that also. Um, and I mentioned to him, he said something about welcome to the gulag. He's in um, Montreal, I think, in Canada. <coughs> and I said, funny you should say that because I was just commenting on Faulty Grace's video that it was as if we were already in the FEMA camp. And he said, oh, that's what Doc and I are doing the show about on Friday, the radio show I guess we're doing. And if you go to his video, you will see a link for that. So it just, that was kind of the theme for the day yesterday. And it just had me, um, I don't know, I guess I'm feeling hopeless. Um, I feel a little alone with these thoughts because um, I can't really talk to my husband about it quite in the same way. I think he's waiting for me to just decide that everything's okay already and shut up, you know. Because <laughs> um, he asked last night, well, when was I going to decide, you know, what would be the deciding, deciding factor um, to make me sort of give all this up and think everything's fine. And I thought, you know, I don't see it as an event. There may be an event, but there may not be. It may just be this long, slow, sort of a torturous slide. And I commented that the last depression was not an event, to which he countered, oh, that's not true. It was an engagement, whatever date in his mind is the date. And I sort of know what he means, but by the same token, um, it was drawn out for a long time. The Dust Bowl was added in. There were a lot of factors that, in my opinion, define the Depression. It was not just one event. Um, so I guess I'm wondering what everybody else's thoughts are. You know, even, what's the way out? It's not like we can go anywhere. It's not like we can do anything. So they kind of already have us. Think about smoking bans and how that's changed over the years. At first it was, um, you know, you can't smoke in uh, libraries and movie theaters, what have you. Eventually it became restaurants, 
then it became you couldn't smoke within 200 feet of any establishment. And then it got to you can't smoke in a car with your kids. You can't smoke in an apartment building, even in your own apartment, if there are other people, if it's a non-smoking building. You know, it just progressively got more and more restrictive. And I can see that happening with the guns. I was watching a report last night, and I'm sorry, I don't remember what news station. And I don't remember the report. It was just sort of a one-liner that a Starbucks someplace is considering not allowing guns in Starbucks. I assume this is a state where you can freely carry your guns. And, you know, here we go. They're, they won't ban guns, per se. They're just going to start chipping away and chipping away and chipping away. I know a lot of you don't like Glenn Beck, but I watch him every night just because, you know, there isn't much else to watch on the news, and my husband likes to watch it. And he talks about this, and I think he's right on about that. Um, they're not going to make any bold moves, they being the current administration. They're just going to slowly chip away and chip away and nudge and push. And before you know it, you end up in that direction. So, I uh, again, I have no solutions here um, other than to keep blathering on YouTube and keep annoying the people around me with my uh, useless, subversive ideas. <coughs> um, so I would be interested in hearing everybody else's thoughts, uh, and just wanted to let you know about the show that will be on Friday. Again, the link to Barbarian Rebellion will have the link for that show. So take good care, folks. I hope everyone's well. Bye now.